to Balling Tony Mutchin on a young lad. Kevin Ward there still, they're still going this man Ward. Hogan he just pushes Hogan out of the way. Ball goes back. And so Castle will kick it deep. Beardmore kicks it right footed. Oh well taken by David Laws on that left wing. Laws now likes to run this point. But Marchand takes him well, so too does England. And that will be high, that looked too high to me. And the referee goes there and uh, good firm in there. So again, Ronnie Campbell right on the spot. And he's not going to stand any nonsense this afternoon. The bearded George Furman, he's got the ball in his hands already. He wants to get on with the game. And so, Ronnie Campbell, in this way to George Furman, takes this right for him. Best down side, the near touch line as far as uh, Rocky Camo is concerned. And the ball's there straight away from the ball. Boy, David Norris flicks him up. There's the benches. That's where uh, Roger Melwood and Malcolm Reilly, the coaches, will be just weighing it up. Ball inside again to Harrison. But these two sets of forwards playing very well indeed. Very fast pace and some very good tackling. Harrison who gets up to play the ball. Watkinson to Harkin to Hogan. Hogan also the tackle of John Joyner. David Watkinson again to Harkin, again to Burton. And through, gets away from one man, that did well, Lucas Burton, taken out again by Marchant. And again, Gary Pro. And Harkin again, kicking it right fully. Let's see it spinning towards that Castleford line. It's going over the dead, the touch and goal, but he's, he's going to run it out, this boy. Zukema, Zukema, oh, lovely tackle from him, and that was a good tackle right underneath the Castleford 25 from the prop forward. He did well there. Marching now and there's Zukemer again, that's his second one in about two seconds. And again and again, there's Emmer again, that's three on the trot, that's good play from the young prop. And Miller just puts him out the way and says, come on, you, I'll, I'll take the next one. As Beefy England comes through, he's lost the ball, and that's good play from Dory. Picks that loose ball up, those are the crumbs you, you, you've got to pick up in a cup time, and certainly in a final. Zukemer dives towards the Castleford line, 2-0 the scoreline. England with a tackle, Dory here now. Harkin, dummies one way, that's a lovely ball to Hogan, Hogan going through, Hogan there, one over the top, Gordon Smith didn't get it over, no he can't, that's good play as Spears came in there, took Gordon Smith out, there was a chance on that left wing, Harkin now, Rob is really pounding this Castleford line, Harrison now, two-man tackle on him, Kettridge goes in, so too does Ward, Harrison will play to Harkin, goes on the blind side again, Miller now, Miller now, going to go through, is he there, oh he's shot a yard short, great tackle there from Diamond for Castleford, Gary Prome now, Puts a little kick in, Prom over the top, going for the ball, and the ball, oh, the fullback takes it out. That'll be a drop out from underneath the post, so tremendous pressure now from the Robins. Still 2-0 the scoreline. But Castleford now under all sorts of problems and pressures from the Red and Whites and the armory of the Red and Whites getting behind their fans, so too are the Castleford fans. Great atmosphere at Headingley. Long ball, George Furman takes it. Starts to go. Still going, very strong is Furman. Nice to get out of the tackle, gets out the tackle very quickly indeed. Hogan runs off from acting half, like he's taken out. Watkinson, the captain, waits for Hogan. Hogan gets up just a little bit slowly to Harkin. Harkin again to Miller. Miller there, good ball again to Dory. That was a good ball to Laws. Laws looks inside. Burton's banging the ball, so Burton's going to have to go acting half back. Gets it to Gary Prom. Gary Prom now, Prom now. Oh, weaving through. Prom still going. He's got Gordon Smith with it. A chance here for the Robins. Gary Miller, Gary Miller's going to score. Oh, what a try for the Robins. Brilliant centre play. And Bobby Beardmore playing. Well, he's not very happy with his teammates, the Castleford teammates, because Gary Prom there zipped through four of the Castleford players. Found Gordon Smith to his right. Smith there, there he got the half back. Linked up well, and there was the Australian Gary Miller going flying over. And that's the first try of the afternoon. My watch, just 15 minutes of play gone. And it's Hull Kingston Rovers 6, Castleford nil in this Yorkshire Cup final. And the Rovers fans all around this ground, this tremendous cheering from them. Red and white hats, scarves, you name it, they've got it. And there's the Castleford side. Well, there'll be a union meeting underneath those posts. And they'll be talking about who missed the tackles, because there's no doubt prone there showing why... He's considered one of the best centres in the world today. Class centre, very strong, very fast, a lot of vision, great professional, and he really showed why, certainly in the second test, he'll have to be marked next Saturday at Wigan against Great Britain, because that was a brilliant break for that first try. Now here's John Dorohy, no more than about 10 yards on the Castleford line, just goes back about six paces. He'll have a last look at the post already, kicked a penalty goal on three minutes, so here's the conversion now. And the flags go up, no problem at all. So that scoreline showing now after 15 minutes of play. 
Hull Kicks and Rovers 8, Castleford nil.